Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Atom RPG. I'm Colonel RPG, as usual, and I'm very happy that you're to join me today as uh, we escape some rats, basically. That's, uh, that's a good thing. The good life, getting a little bit of experience there. I really don't have time for the rats. Uh, and I don't have time for the slow travel speed, although I'm sure there's a mod that changes that. I think I heard something about that. Um, terrible rats. I'm going to try and escape. We succeed, but I'm not going to succeed at that because I'm going to reload because I th that there's nothing there. We are exploring new areas of uh, the underground section of the dead city. Fortunately, nobody starves down here. And because hydration is not a problem. Well, dead ends are a problem. Tr try to, no, not the rats. Oh, dang it. Oh, and I'm, I'm spawned right in the middle. No, I just want to just wanted to see if that it has a any anything is that is that a place is there a point of coming here and I'm not gonna fight rats I fought enough rats I'm good I'm like yeah sure I can skip that bit it's it's fine uh, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing here it'd be cool if there was but you can't click on anything dead ends come on like get stuff in the dead ends there's no reason not to right Anyway, we are at the looter's base, and I might as well pay, say hi, pay them a visit, meet the caravaneers. I don't think I have anything to sell, but, you know, meet the caravaneers nonetheless, because you never know if these guys have money. I have uh, things to sell. I do have things to sell, just not to them. Where are they? Over here. Okay. On the one hand, the, um, the helmet reminds me a lot of Stalker. Nah, these guys have money. Uh, on the other hand... The, the sound of that thing, it, it, it's, it's, it's all about Metro, isn't it? And, and they, I think they might be very closely... Um, a very close reference to Metro 2033 or 2032, whichever. And a lot of money. Thank you very much. I will sell you a crappy F1 grenade. That sucks. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good start. It's a good start. Then, I have... How about the things that I have? Um, uh, coffee is really expensive. Yeah, those those things are just ridiculously good for the price. This is a uh, yeah, I can sell that, and then I can uh, yeah, cause no, it still has some stuff. Not a whole lot of stuff, but you know, some stuff. And now I can start. Oh, oh yeah, that's that's good. Now I can start taking. Uh, really? A quality zip gun is that bad? I forgot. I should have, I should have, rem I'm sure somebody noticed that in the comments and it was like, you dummy, that sucks over there, he does. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're buying some of these pistols, but I think now that we're selling, I mean, I, we could buy another one, but, uh, let's go to helmets, because that is, uh, 300 for, it's about three times, well, all the helmets tend to be, yeah, that's pretty good. Sounds good to me. That's kind of fine. I'll keep that. And then I'll give uh, 32 away. Or not give it away, but... That's, that's very good. Hmm. First caravaneer that actually has a lot of money. And we didn't even find them in, in places that we hadn't been to yet. Even though we can pretend that we did, because we have just been to places that we, we hadn't been to yet. But they had dead ends for us. My figure here is that maybe I had been over there. That little red thing looks like a, a rat's eye. <laughs> it's not. My fear, or my, I'm, I'm apprehensive now that I might have gone over there before and it was, and then found out that it sucked, and uh, and then decided to uh, reload as I did, just as I did. Anyway, these guys tend not to have anything. I'm gonna talk to them. Uh, come on, don't be shy. Let's chat first. I can, yeah, I talked to you before. There's no money here, though. There is an upstairs area that I could go to, and I should go to. You know what? We have explored the underground area enough. Let's go upstairs. Do you trade? I'm sorry. And she does. Oh, what is that? Huh? Just sunglasses. Hi. Bye. Wasn't there... The tattoo artist, but he doesn't have anything interesting. 
and we're a little bit hungry. Yeah, we can we can eat wherever. So it's not really much of a problem. We know all these people. Maybe not this guy. This short man of around 40 gives you a peculiar gaze as you approach him to start a conversation. He then extends his hand and you shake it without even thinking twice about it. Okay, he doesn't really have anything for me. Hey there, young one. I'm Frederick Darvisov, but you can tell me Fred. Can call me Fred. Just don't call me Fyodor. It's just that some of the folks here can't pronounce my name, so they call me that. You know, yeah, in Russia, Fred is a difficult name to pronounce. I assume Fyodor is just a lot better. It is a prettier name too. I would, I would say. Even my friend Taran does it to me. Anyway, what brings you here? Don't tell me you came out of these, those, those damn tunnels. I, for one, will never enter them again. And bear in mind that up until this point, I have not said a word to this gentleman over here. What's wrong with the tunnels? Beasts, stale air, shitty smell? It seems normal to me. People say information is a strong weapon. If that saying is true, then you're completely unarmed. No, no, people say that it's powerful, uh, that information is power, that's what they say. Demons roam those tunnels, terrible hellish beings reminiscent of legendary dragons. We stumbled upon a whole pack of them in the depths. Me and my buddy Terran, who calls me, whatever did, they call, did he call him? Anyway. Hell, my pal is one tough old SOB. A lesser man would forget our friendship, leave me for dead, and just run away. But not Terran. He threw me out his back as if I was, uh, if I were a mere rucksack, and on threw me on his back. Right, right. Uh, and only then he started running towards this here station. But I wasn't just dead weight on the man's shoulders. I was carried to safety. I f as I was carried to safety, I fired mag after mag at the creatures who chased that chased us, yelling and f spitting fire. Only two of the bastards got wounded and gave up the chase. The rest of the pack stopped the pursuit only when we were near the station. I probably didn't want to mess with so many people at once. He's not lying, my child, says Oxygen. I can see it in his eyes. And oh, how I wish to avoid such encounters. Our Lenin in... Don't talk about our other companion. Our Lenin in the mausoleum. That's the other Lenin. Hallowed be thy name. Then that is a direct reference to uh, our father, our heart in heaven. And it is very, very obscure. But if you know the saying, then you know you can spot it. But it is super obscure. <laughs> Uh, well, I guess not obscure in the sense that it's not it, nobody would say that not even uh, the most extreme Leninist unless I'm mistaken do Leninists Historically say stuff like that in Russia. Do they switch? Uh, well, actually, I, I, could, I could see some of that some of that happening the white revolution at least as far as I can tell was uh, partly dedicated to um, abolishing uh, the power of, of the Catholic Church I, I, well I say the Catholic Church. I'm not it's the Protestant Church. I'm not really sure if which church it was, but anyway, one of the Christ Christian sects. Um, so it it wouldn't surprise me if they just appropriated certain sayings. Anyway, former people come. Although it's kind of funny, but by the the amount of references that I see to, specifically to the Bible, not just in not just in this uh, in this game, but in other Russian games that I uh, play, because I as I said before, I play a bunch of them in the channel they are all in, written in English but still um, it, it it definitely strikes me as more just more of a, a, a more of a Christian tradition I guess in the, in the at least in the specific and in, in, in relatively small number of writers that write the games that I play here on the channel but still uh, there's a lot of this game has a few quite a few references former people's commissar Felix Dzerzhinsky is my shepherd I shall not want death by anti-Soviet de demons fire fiery breath it it sounds like the praying but I don't know the the praying the pray old pray pray you know the thing the what's it called the mantra it's a mantra but the, the, the Christians give it another name um, yeah it sounds like that but I don't I can't tell if it is anyway yeah I was also praying to everyone and everything as they chased us uh, yes I keep going to check if he has money. What a terrible story! I am literally sta- What did I say? Shaking and shit. Shaking and shit. By now. Good, good. Feel the fear. Fearful people who avoid danger leave the longest. Mm-hmm. He who flees- What is it called? 
It's an old saying from Latin times, from Roman times, I should say. He who flees leaves to fight another day or something? It's like, yeah. Anyway, it, it's technically... That's not the moral of the, his story, but we can pretend it is. Uh, so, tell me about yourself. Tell you about myself, huh? Okay. I've got nothing to hide. I was born far away from here. I got my education in a school for young welders and electricians. And then my city was destroyed because there was a military factory being built on the outskirts. Me and a few thousand locals survived in a municipal emergency shelter. After the dust settled, I left to seek high adventure. And I would have done it too if it wasn't for the dead city. When I got here, I quickly became friends with my partner in crime, Taran, and decided to stop wandering. I don't know what crime you're referring to. Maybe that's maybe he's re that's just a, a way of saying it. It's just his partner. He just didn't want to say his partner because maybe they're not romantically involved and he just didn't want to sound it like that. He's just saying partner in crime. He's like, ah, my... There's other words for, for that. I don't know them, but they exist. Like my... my, my jig of a job my jig of a job that's that's a word see i make up words i can do the things what what are you doing here i help to salvage some old world electronics any stuff like drills that's not electronics chainsaws N not not electronics D flashlights uh that is that is electronics good, good i mean it doesn't need to be electronic but it, i suppose at least it's closer than drills and chainsaws and the like you know to fix them up and sell it at the right price but it turned out most tech in the city that wasn't already salvaged by others is completely useless even after being fixed like who needs a washing machine or a vacuum nobody that's who and just to clarify drills and chainsaws don't need to be power tools you can have chainsaws that are manual although they are very old because they're I mean, not well. I guess you can also have them like air, air uh, pressure chainsaws. Um, you can also have them be. Well, definitely, you can also have them. Um, I was thinking manual drills, chainsaws is kind of, yeah. Uh, but I, uh, you can definitely have them like uh, engine powered. That's a thing. And flashlights, are, they're not necessarily electronics. Electronics are specifically electronics, like in a computer or a, or a phone. A lamp, like an electric lamp, if it's not LED, it's not electronic. It is electric. <laughs> electric, you idiot. You idiot. Can you t what can you tell me about the station? Nice place. More bandits than on the stalker base, but that's a good thing. More fun when there's bandits around. If you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Care to share some rumors? Rumors fly around quickly, like that one story about a stalker by the name of Wolf who ventured deep underground to stop an invasion of hellish beings. Could these be the same things me and Taran met? I, let's not talk about it just yet. I get the creeps even thinking about them. Mm-hmm. I wonder who that is a reference to, that wolf. There is... I, I wonder. The hellish... When, whenever they talk about hell, specifically, just I just can think of Hellgate London. Because um, that's sort of... The, the point of that game is just going in underground <laughs> to kill the creatures from hell coming from the sewers um, but uh, but no that wouldn't be I mean I would it wouldn't surprise me if they they referenced that game it was a very uh, talked about oh I forgot about something here uh, forgot about something very important here talked about uh, very talked about the game back when it came out so we're getting radiated right now uh, and I'm getting that right now as well. You can see it up there. Oh, that's my toxic. That's my radiation. Oh, yeah. All the bad things. Can you just equip it? Uh... The hell? Hmm. Okay. Let's, let's find out where the save's coming. Oh. Okay. Yeah, more saves coming because I, I, oh yeah, <laughs> it shows red X, which is sort of weird. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah you're, you're giving me that. So, no more atom for me. That is surprising and a lot more, a lot better than I was expecting, honestly, because I was expecting it to be armor and I would just have to, you know, go around without, without armor, basically. Which is okay. Oh, am I not fast? I am. Minus 12 dodge. That's quite some dodge. It's like dodging into the bullets. 
Anyway, we are up here, and uh, there is what looks to be a bad thing up there. Let's go up there to the bad thing and see what it is. Don't go away, bad thing. Come back. Ah, thank you. What are we... What's gonna happen? We're a little bit hungry. Our companions are fine. We did explore up here, so... I mean, we could camp in here and just be like... Oh yeah, there's definitely something going on in here. Or maybe there isn't. I like the sound, though. The wind. Oh yeah, look at that! It's all smoky and, and crap. Good stuff. And we're taking no damage whatsoever. I mean, we're a little bit radiated, but, you know, it's fine. It's, it's really good, great that our companions don't care about it. That is... That's proper stuff. Very good investment, I will say. Using the... The, well, getting the uh, very expensive hazmat suit. So, the old hospital. We were sent over here for a particular mission. Let's uh, look at what we have. Uh, stalker base, technical rooms. I would say yes. That's not a thing. Old hospital. A mysterious older gentleman... That is who? Who is sitting in the looter's base? Hired me to retrieve some strange medical briefcase called the carrying case. Moros, Moros call. He didn't. I, I don't remember him saying any of that. But anyway, I can find this item somewhere in the ruins of the old city hospital on the surface of the dead city. But it's a good thing I don't remember all of this. Okay. Nothing terrible going on. I do see the exit. Oh, can't go over there. Looking for tiny little um, loot, lootable things, and all that, as you you might expect. And then I can't go back there. Quite a big map. Fortunately, we can't zoom out any more, so we can't really tell the extent. Of this, uh, well, this is an hospital, all right. There's a lot of blue, green smoke. Oh crap! I didn't see you there. I'm so sorry. Oh, this is uh embarrassing. Uh, um, okay. Please kill me fast. I think that's gonna come out. Okay, so basically we cannot be hit. Did you? Oh, by the way, the dodge went down. Can we simply not get hit? Yeah, I would like you to eat me, fast, please. Uh, I think I think we're gonna be fine here. Uh, this is not definitely definitely not impossible to do. I don't know where they're coming from though. You could shoot me as well while you're at it. There it is, 20. That's a critical damage in the head. In the head, not to the head. It's in there. Anyway, the uh, yeah, basically we can't... Uh, we can't... I got plenty of bullets for that, okay. We can't get hit at all. I'll be knocked down. So there's somebody over there. Let's do this one. Short bursts. Sounds like a good deal. If I'm... Quiet. I assume walking changes. Sneak. I don't see them anywhere. Oh. Okay. Uh, so you are definitely aggressive. You are definitely aggressive. Interesting, because I'm ordering them even though I'm in combat. Did you see me rotate as well? That was interesting. Um, okay, so I will say shoot anybody. That is a surprise. Okay, they go first. That's two shots. Okay, this is this is relatively okay. I don't think he can shoot. Um, can reload and shoot twice, but we're relatively 
well positioned here. He's definitely gonna be able to shoot once, maybe do the burst, which I hope he doesn't. He didn't. Didn't he move while he was shooting? Because that's a thing. That's a thing that if they can implement that into the game, that's really cool. Uh, okay, let's see. I can try aiming at your head from here. Not amazing, but you know. And he reloads. And uh, somebody, yeah, oxygen leveled up. Bunch of experience points available. These guys don't have anything. Okay. See, a lot easier than being hit in the very first thing. Because apparently minus 12 just makes you it's just to die. <laughs> I think I wouldn't be able to get it back up either. Because you need, you recover dodge points for, oh, I think, one dodge point for every action point. Uh, I have that one already. I'm not even sure if that's expensive. Um, look at that, plastic skeletons. These guys were, uh, this was a, a, a uh, an educational an educational uh, hospital. But yeah, I, I think you recover one dodge point for every action point, and because I have a, a, apparently a maximum of minus two, 12, that's never gonna happen. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they created an exception for that or something. The racket that we made, I really do hope that um, I aggroed everybody around here. I don't know if I can go upstairs. I don't see anybody else, though. But they don't show up when I, I press Alt. That plastic skeleton didn't have anything. Tell me it's a body. It's a... <sighs> it's a plastic skeleton. Dang it. <laughs> Come on. Why? Why? Just... <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway. That's, that's how it is. And downstairs we go. A lot of these guys, because yeah, we can't we can't go upstairs. A lot of these guys, but we're not gonna not gonna loot them because they don't have anything, and also they don't go yellow, which is weird. And as I said before, I think might oh we're probably gonna be in combat. We're not in combat. Uh, as I said before, I think might indicate that the that they can can um, can uh, be looted or harvested for different. For different, uh, not rewards, but I guess resources. Okay, now I have 10 dodge points. Look at me being all baller and stuff. Can I shoot you? No, 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 no. It's super hard. There you go. Huh, landed that one. Okay, so you can be aggressive, you can be avoiding. Okay. Of course, he shoots the rat that I shot. Come on. Interesting. Hi, I didn't see you there. Three action points. It does go down. Do you see that? Is it always what happens? Hmm. Although... It still does I'm sure it still doesn't explain the uh, enormous amounts of, of knockbacks that I get. Uh, it, it might explain it a little bit. But, uh... Like, for example, right now, I don't think I lost dodge points. Hmm. Curious. Probably should have paid attention to that before, when I was complaining about... Oh, I'm always being knocked down. Okay, this is uh, not a great position here. Are you gonna be able to shoot shoot that guy? Yes. Okay, they they give a lot of experience. 61 experience for for each rat. That is proper stuff right there. How much am I? Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. I'm I'm like at 4,000 4,000 away from the next level up, and I do need them. So there's just a bunch of drugs down here. Drugs that evidently didn't spoil, even though people have been turned to skeletons next to rats who, who didn't eat the flesh or the people or the skeletons. Because bones are, are very juicy. They're very nutritious. 
Uh, I think I'm gonna need your help, Oxygen, if you don't mind. Okay, that, that's pretty good. Uh, so you are aggressive, you are aggressive as well, and you guys are gonna figure out who you're gonna shoot next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, oh no. And this has been Atom RPG. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.